Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Uh, this video is actually going to be in two parts and it's a short video looking at the history of Pocklington. Pocklington is a town in East Yorkshire, England, and the area around Pocklington has been settled for several thousand years with evidence of Neolithic, Bronze Age and Iron Age settlements nearby. Roman settlements have been found at nearby Millington, Lonsborough, Shiptonthorpe and Hayton. The origin of the name is an Anglican settlement called Pacella's Farm. There was a religious centre at the site of the church by 627 AD when it was visited by St Paulinius, the, site being, uh, the visit being recorded on the Sotheby Cross which was discovered buried in the churchyard in 1835. The inscription reads, Paulinius uh, here preached and celebrated the Mass, AD 627. Pocklington is recorded in the Doomsday Book of 1086, along with a number of surrounding villages, three water mills, a church, a priest, and 15 burgesses, valued at eight pounds. During medieval times, Pocklington was prospering as a market town with livestock, grain and wool traded. The parish church was built between 1200 and 1450. By the 16th century, malting had become a major industry in the town. There were also a number of wool merchants in the town at this time. In 1514, the Dolman family founded Pocklington School. For many years, Pocklington remained a fairly consistent size. One reason for this is its position away from the main York to Hull Road, being the only town in the area not near a major road junction. It wasn't until the arrival of the canal and the railway in the 19th century that this changed. By the start of the 18th century, there were two manors, the freehold Manor of Robert Dolman and the Copyhold Manor of the Dean of York. The town was surrounded by six large arable fields which were divided into two groups of three. Enclosures started at the beginning of the 18th century. The workhouse was built before 1775 and in 1796 it had 20 inhabitants listed. Well, this takes us up to the early 19th century, so I will uh, stop the video here and cover the 19th and 20th centuries in part two. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.